How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy Remake, I should probably say, but eh. Let's see if we can actually finish up... No. Finish up all of this now. Huh. I can't not say that I'm at a loss. Hello? Meg? Meg, is that you? Eee! Hey, is that you? Is that Keith with you? Where have you two been? I've been worried sick. Ah. Uh, just... Uh, okay. Hey, Nick, you handle this. Why me? Uh, I think I'll leave this one up to you, Maya. Meg? Yes? Finally made up your mind, have you? Not my mind? You'll run the boss's job when I'm gone? Pasta shop? You're in a boat rental shop. Sorry, buddy, but I think you're in the wrong place. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. You make your old man proud. When you kids left the house, I didn't know what to think. How am I supposed to keep this place running? An old man like me? Polly, the kids are home. Hello? Hello? Oh, I'm gonna have fun with that one. Nick? What was that? It's called a parrot. Parrot. The one on that perch. Keith? I yes? I leave the wet noodle in your capable, capable hands, Sonny. Who would call their pasta shop the wet noodle? Aside from this guy. N Nick? What's the wet noodle? Uh, based on the available evidence, I'd say it's the name of his pasta shop. Yeah? Yeah, that's a pretty good assumption. <laughs> that's a relief, isn't it, Polly? Hello? Hello? What? I am. Okay. Really? Fell asleep. I guess he's relieved. Ah! <laughs> uh, wow! Um. Uh, uh, pasta shop. Are you? To think, to think the white noodle would live on when I'm gone. My father started it, you know. So that makes you the two of the th you two of the third generation. May? Y yes. Tomorrow we'll start with the secrets of Dome Tossing. Okay. So you do it fresh. You too, Keith. Y yes. You'll be the best pasta wrangler the West has ever seen. Where are we going with this? I thought we were supposed to be investigating a murder. The hell? Pasta wrangler? The West? It, it's imposter from Italy. Originally, yeah, but... Meg? Yes? You know the best pasta's always been made west of the Rockies, don't you? I beg to differ, sir. R right. Sure. I'm just gonna go with that one. Nick? Huh? How long do we have to keep up all this all in the family shroud? This old man must know something about the murder. We're not leaving until we find out what it that is. Ugh. 
Um, this is a boat rental shop, right? What are you talking about? This here's the palace of pasta, the wet noodle. I'm gonna be showing this face the entire episode towards this guy. <laughs> Though, now that you mention it, we haven't gotten many orders for spaghetti lately. I wonder why! All the kids come up and say, Yo, dude, we want to ride in one of your boats. That's why I kept them boats out here. Youngsters these days, darn if I understand them. I'm pretty confused myself. Nick, this isn't going anywhere. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> but this old man is the witness tomorrow, right? Yep. Gotta find some way of getting information out of him. Well, I ain't talking to him. Uh, let's see, can we present anything to you? How about the lake photo? Now listen here, Keith. Remember that tricolor pasta we were to- What? What? A uh, rainbow yoli. I figured out uh, the last color we should use. Indigo blue. Why indigo blue? Yeah, <laughs> that's my qu Indigo blue? That didn't seem to work the way I thought it might. Okay, so if it's something he... Uh... If it's something he's not gonna truly respond to, then... Uh, let's see. Let's just go through everything, see what we can get out of him. Here, you wanna see my attorney's badge? Oh, wait, that worked. Okay. <laughs> that a lawyer's badge? Y yes, it is. I don't believe it. This old guy is the first person to recognize my badge. I get it. Huh? Are you? I got you figured out now. You're not, Keith! Did you finally figure that out? Nick? That's a chance to clear things up. Um, sir? No, I'm not Keith. I'm not Meg either. We're here investigating a murder that took place on this lake the other night. Please help us. Hmm. A lawyer, huh? Please, mister? Alright, I'll help. But on one condition. What condition? When this case is over and done, you'll run the wet noodle. Okay. <laughs> Nick, are you sure about this? Uh, Maya, we'll be fine. The wet noodle does not exist. Hey, anything to get this case solved. Also, who wouldn't want to eat... <sighs> that actually doesn't sound good at all. Phoenix noodles. Ugh. Ugh. No. I would not want to eat that. Sorry, Phoenix, no. That's my boy. Good for you, Keith. Ah, oh, for the love of... This guy is hopeless. Wait, didn't I just say... You too, man. Y yes? <laughs> You bring a tear to your old man's eye, you know? Now, what was that you wanted to know? Speak up, Polly. 
talking to the bird again. How do we get him to talk to us? Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Fell asleep. <laughs> well, that did nothing. Okay, that did nothing. Come on. All right, yep. I seen this. Oh, now I show this to you. Okay. Y you know something about this, sir? Keep. Y yes. It's okay. You can call me Dad. What? No! 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 That ain't happening. No. <laughs> Dad, you're okay. I'm not given a choice. <laughs> You know something about this? Are you? The other night. Out in the lake. Y yes Yes? I know all about that. I seen it. What? Isn't that why we're here, Maya? Come on. Get with the program. Tell us. Tell us what you saw. Well, I suppose. Since you're taking over the shop and all. Question, how much is he actually going to tell us? Probably not very much. I forget the time, but it was pretty dark outside. Probably night. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was after midnight. But okay. Technically, that's not a lie. Then I heard this bang. I looked outside. Then I heard another one. Bang! Okay. A little while later, this boat comes back. Then a young man walked by my window here. He was muttering something to himself. Are right, you? Yep. What did he say? Are right, you? Yep. You don't know, do you? I forgot. You don't actually know, do you? I'll remember tomorrow by court time. Promise. Ah, oh, for the love of me. We need to know earlier than that. <sighs> well, you're useless. Some parrot that is. Good morning. Hello. It ignored me. What? You forgot me? You gotta call her name first. Her name? Polly. How you been? Hello. Hello. <laughs> See? Neat. So the parrot's name is Polly? Parrot added to the court record. What? Too bad all she can say is hello. <laughs> Old Polly can say lots of things. You just need to know the secret words. The secret words? Uh... Let's start with Polly first. Polly, Polly, what's your name? Polly! Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> cute! Maya's found a new friend! <laughs> what else is new? Let's see. Is this a safe? Look, a little safe. <laughs> now don't go opening people's safes without their permission, May. Maybe later. Later? I worry about you sometimes, you know that? What? No, no, no! Look, Nick. He has an electric blanket on his table. Looks warm. That's a great idea. You should do that at the office. You can sit down with our clients snug and warm and drink hot cocoa. What do you think this is? Therapy? 
And what? Talk about murders? Oh, you're a party pooper, Nick! <laughs> I questioned so many things in this episode so far. Wow, there's a lot of various fish in Gourd Lake, aren't there? Something's funny, Nick. What? Well, these fish are saltwater fish. Of course. What's the point of going fishing in your own backyard? Deep sea fishing's the best. Mighty tasty, too. Isn't that illegal? Right. Looks like a kitchen unit. It's pretty clean. Funny. He doesn't look like the type who'd keep things tidy like that. You're forgetting, Nick. He's running a pasta shop here. That's right. That's right, Keith. I'm confused. Yeah, what else is new? So we start the presenting... Where? Here? Fell asleep. Okay, so it's this again. You know about Gordy? Nope. Well, <laughs> it's worth a shot. Not really, but whatever. Okay, is this again? That ain't it. That ain't it either. Nope. Okay, can't show that to him. How about Polly herself? Polly here's my only friend in the world. Isn't that right, Polly? Hello! Hello! Right? How are you? Okay. Oh, new dialogue. Ah, my memory's gotten worse of late. That's why I just tell everything important to old Polly here. Everything important? Hmm, I wonder. Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight. <laughs> oh my god. Why? All right. Hey, Polly, watch it, will ya? <laughs> See, Nick? All it takes is a little clever thinking. And a criminal mind. Quick, Nick, write the number down. Hey, hey, don't get me involved in your little heist schemes. You know what? Hey. Little Terry was just here. Terry? Are you? The kid next door. You always used to make him cry, remember? He was wearing this tattered old coat. Got himself some whiskers growing on his face. That's called facial hair, dude. You have it. Must be talking about Detective Gumshoe. Oh! Oh. I thought he was talking about, uh... Larry Butts. Gum Joppin tells me to t come down to court tomorrow. Really? Somehow I don't think we're going to get much useful information from this guy. Maya, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh wait, I have one more question. Huh? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? <laughs> and music dies. That Probably means there's something important here. Don't forget the old six! Huh? What did she just say, Nick? One more time, Polly. Don't forget the old six! Okay, what? A DL6 incident? Hey, mister. I, I mean, dad. Or, hey, mister. I, I mean, dad. This is getting weird. Who is this old guy? Why would that bird say 
Paul, you know about DL6. We have to figure out who that old man is. Oh. What? He locked the door from the other side. <laughs> who could that old man be? I think I need to do a little more research on this DL6 incident. Maybe I should ask Detective Gumshoe. Okay. We know where we're going next. Hi. Oh boy. Yeah, a lot just happened. What the fuck? I think he's in criminal affairs, wouldn't he be? Yep, hi. Hey, pal. Long time no see. Hi. You don't look so happy. <laughs> What's wrong this time? Actually, we wanted to ask you something. Yeah? You know the boat rental shop down at the Gord... At Fudge! You know the boat rental shop down at Gord Lake? Oh, yeah! The old man who runs it is a pair of... Fudge! The old man who runs it is appearing as a witness in court tomorrow, right? Huh? How'd you... Hmm. That was supposed to be top secret. Do you know who that old man is, Detective? Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. That's why we called Miss Lotta Hart yesterday. As for who he is, we have absolutely no idea. Great. That was useless. Thanks for nothing, you good detective. <laughs> hmm. Sounds suspicious. Yeah, no kidding. Detective Gumshoe, please, help us. Huh? We need to know about the DL6 incident. That was when Edgeworth's father died. I can't help but think that it has something to do with this current case. To tell the truth, I don't know much about DL6 either. Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading the file. So? I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, pal. What?! However, if you can convince me somehow that the DL6 incident is related to this case, well, I guess I'll consider opening the file up. How about the victim? Gr not Gregory Edgeworth. Well, Gregory Edgeworth, yeah, but... There are two big pieces of evidence that should be able to prove that. Edgeworth, which won't be big enough probably, or... Robert. Robert Hammond. He was the defense d attorney in the DL6 incident trial. Bingo. He's the one who got the sole suspect off the hook. I wonder what Mr. Edgeworth thinks of him. Not much, I'd wager. God damn it. Now, how do I present. I wonder why I can't present people here. Wait, can I move over to... I kind of figured this. Grossberg. He's not here. Hmm. I wonder... How do I convince you? Maybe if I read through the files a little bit. Difficult looking legal books standing in a formidable row. They mock me. I tried reading one, and it made my head hurt. <laughs> when I closed it, it slipped out of my hand. Then my foot hurt too. <laughs> wah wah. Okay, so maybe... No, I did not mean to do that. Fudge. Fudge, fudge, fudge.
Okay. So it has to be something I already have. How about Maya Fey? Or Mi Maya. Misty Fey. Can I present her? Sorry to disappoint you, pal. I'm drawing a blank. Okay. That woman really took us for a ride, didn't she? Claiming she was a witness to a murder and all? Still. Still, if it weren't for her photograph, Mr. Edgeworth would ha would not have made it today. Oh, huh, really? Um, you were at the trial, weren't you, Detective? I've already read this. I don't care who you are. No one can tell me that Mr. That that's Mr. Edgeworth. I mean, come on. It doesn't look like him at all. You can't tell. They're outlines. But Edgeworth has admitted he was on the boat. Then he's the one being shot, then. Uh, you do realize he's alive, right? Seems fine in court today. Details, pal, details! Whose side are you on anyway? All I'm saying is we have to respect the evidence. Sorry to, okay. This one. Okay. Yep, it was fired from the murder weapon, without a doubt. From a meter away, so it would have to have been from someone else on the boat. Hmm. What do you make of this, Detective Goshu? Hey, making something of things is your job! Uh, right. Since when do lawyers have to do detectives work for them? I don't know, buddy, okay? Maybe you should... Maybe you should tell me why Mr. Edgeworth's prints were on the weapon, pal. Huh? How should I know? How about the parrot? The parrot. What's that? The parrot? The old man at the boat rental shop's parrot. The parrot knew about the incident. That incident. Deal six. What? Polly, Polly, have you forgotten something? Don't forget deal six. Huh? I'm pretty sure that old man must have taught her that word. I mean, that would make sense since parents repeat things you've already said. Yeah, but how would that old man know about the DL6 incident? Wait, what if... What if that old man was connected to DL6? Nick, you might... You think he might be? That would be the only logical explanation, really. I get you. Sounds like you need information on the DL6 incident. Didn't we already say this? Through there's the station's records room. I'll give you special permission to go in and find what you need. All right! Way to go, Detective Gumshoe! <laughs> okay, Nick. To the records room! I guess it's time we faced Edgeworth's past. All right! Let's go! Wow! That's a lot of records! It's amazing! The dusty <coughs> 10 years of files and 10 years of dust I guess let's find the DL6 stuff quick 15 years ago both me and Edgeworth were nine years old we were almost through with fourth grade when he suddenly transferred because of DL6 Nick I found out where the file is well, that was fast thanks just let me know what you want to know about the DL6. I'll go get the, the right file. Alright. Let's start with the summary. Well, first I have to get a handle on the main facts, like a summary. Right. Summary, summary. Found it! Here you go. December 28th, 2001. That's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. Well, 
Now we know when this place, this game takes place. <laughs> so in two days, the case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator of the district courthouse. <sighs> I swear, there's not one video where I don't yawn. What? Well, there probably is, but I'd have to go hunt it down. Is this the same district courthouse where we're holding the trial now? Looks like it. That's kind of, uh, coincidental. There was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Part of the court building collapsed and all of the lights went out. Not good. Not good at all. Wow, that was some earthquake. At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. I'm gonna drink some water. <sighs> Took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours! That would be scary like that. It would be scary like that in the dark. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator, and the survivors were unconscious. The survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? Yep. He said that his father was shot before his very eyes. Also, am I turning into that old man from earlier or something? Yep. Come here, Sonny! <laughs> so, Miles Edgeworth was one of the other passengers in the elevator. Do you have data on the victim? Edgeworth's father? Yeah, hold on. Victim, victim. Here, found it. Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. If he were still alive, he'd be 50. That's old! He had lost that day's case in court and got in the elevator with his son, Miles. Miles! Miles Edgeworth, of course. So he was in the elevator when his father... with his father. From the angle of the bullets and other evidence, could not have been a suicide. The murder weapon, a pistol, was found in the elevator. Pistol had been fired two times. Where have I heard that before? Huh. Sounds like. It sounds just like this current case. What's going on here? Got any data on the suspect in there? Hmm. That would be the guy that my mom got arrested. Hold on. This is it. The man arrested as a suspect in DL6 was Yanni Yogi. He was a clerk in the court, apparently. So he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well, then he had to have done it. But he was found innocent thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Hammond, the victim in our case. Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen deprived, so much so he had brain damage. He lost all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. Hmm. What could Yogi have gone to, I wonder? He may be closer than we think. I guess I know generally what happened in DL6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edward. Nick, are we going to take the whole file? It's too much. We'll never get it out. Y you're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? The L6 case file added to the court record. 
Right. That's probably all we'll be able to find here. Now all that's left is the trial tomorrow. Good timing, too. We're 35 minutes. It's long enough. I wonder how Dad will do testifying in court. To be continued. So, I'm actually going to leave this video here. Uh, ugh. Last court was something. If it's going to be as complicated this time, then I'm not looking at... I, 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 I'm not going to... I don't even know. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. If you got any suggestions for any other uh, visual novels that you'd like me to do, just let me know in the comments below. Or if you want to check out any that I've done in the past, click the box down over there. Or if you want to check the rest of the, play uh, the playlist for this particular one, click the box across from my head here. In the meantime, I'm out and I'll see you guys later. Bye.